Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we're going to do the camera review for this Xperia Z1 Compact. And the striking thing with this Xperia Z1 Compact is that it sports a 20.7 megapixel G-Lens uh, camera from Sony. And uh, regarding the front facing camera, it's also a 2 megapixel camera which can also record video uh, up to 1080p. The rear facing camera can also record video up to uh, 1080p. And I have uh, took actually a lot of sample shots and videos with this uh, phone and before i show you that let me give you an idea about the camera interface of this xperia z1 compact by default it will be in the superior auto mode and actually i'm not a big fan of the superior auto mode because when you use the superior auto mode uh, instead of that 20.7 megapixel uh, the images that you capture will be only captured at 8 megapixel let me show you the same if you go to the settings and uh, these are some of the settings actually in the superior auto mode you don't get a lot of settings but when you go into manual mode we do get uh, quite a bit of settings so let me first show you this uh, superior auto mode then we'll move to some other modes for example let me bring this uh, box here and you do have that tap to focus functionality and you just tap in and it takes the snap and actually it takes the snaps actually very quickly uh, the focusing time is very quick let me show you that again and as you can see it took the shot so it takes the snaps very quickly now let's move to other modes for example uh, i would suggest that if you take a lot of photographs and if you have an idea switch to the manual mode here you can control the flash one thing i did notice with this device is that the flash is actually pretty aggressive and it fires a lot uh, but again in this uh, manual mode you do get a lot of settings for example let's go to this mode and and here you can go to the max resolution that is 20.7 megapixel but again do note that the photos that you take at 20 megapixel are into 4 by 3 ratio but if you want to take the photos in widescreen uh, that is 16 by 9 you have to go back to 8 megapixel so that's kind of a bummer i would say uh, but we do get a lot of options here we do get the standard touch to focus face detection is also there and also single order focus is there so that is there and uh, you can adjust iso metering uh, image stabilization option again I, I would say it does not have optical image stabilization but again the camera is very quick and most of the photos that i took uh, were blur free so the quality of photographs that you take are very good i'll show you that a bit later and uh, again these are other settings so you do have a lot of settings available uh, on this and if you press this also from here you can quickly change the white, white balance etc uh, so this is the manual mode and uh, one more thing is that this is the AR effects uh, this is interesting and let me show you the same we have these fancy effects for example let's go to the butterfly mode and after some time you'll notice that these objects start to, uh, to come and you can take a photograph and this is how the photograph looked so this is also the some fancy effects that you get and they work uh, it's playful I would say apart from anything else uh, so these are some of the effects that you can uh, play around with so let me get out of this one uh, another thing that uh, we saw earlier also is this time sh shift and actually what it does is quickly it takes up to around 60 uh, shots like this and from here now you can select which shot the you like so this will be useful for uh, when you are doing some action photography uh, uh, so you get a lot of shots and you can pick the best one so this is also interesting and we also do get the uh, panorama mode and the picture effects also in video it can uh, shoot uh, what do you say in hdr so that's also interesting uh, by uh, default in this uh, what do you say superior auto mode to switch to video you just click here but in the manual mode you need to toggle this button and now it's in the what do you say video mode here you can adjust the scenes and uh, uh, you can adjust the white balance you can also force the flashlight on if you always want so all those options are there for the most part i would say uh, uh, the superior auto mode does a decent job if you're a casual user but to get the most out of this uh, you need to move to the manual mode now let me show you uh, all the snaps that i've taken indoors and outdoors uh, with this xperia z1 compact in full screen mode so that you can get a better idea regarding the performance of this camera so here are the pictures that I took with the Z1 Compact uh, the using the rear facing camera at maximum resolution that's 20.7 megapixel. The biggest advantage of taking pictures at 20.7 megapixel is that you can zoom in then also you don't lose any detail. Now I'm zooming the picture that we took earlier. 
some more pictures again one thing i liked about this uh, z1 compact is the pictures come out to be really natural and the color reproduction is also very good i am recording this video with the sony xperia z1 compact at the highest resolution possible that's 1080p and the audio that you're hearing is also being recorded by the internal microphone of this device and i'm just uh, walking in my roof garden it's evening outdoors and as you can see it's uh, actually a bit windy so it might catch a bit of wind noise and i'm just going to slowly pan now it's pretty windy We don't have that tap to focus in uh, the video and now I'll just walk back. A lot of wind. So this should give you an idea about the video recording capabilities with the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact outdoors. Now these pictures were shot in my office in completely artificial light. This is in superior auto mode and the flash was also kept to auto and I noticed that the flash was pretty aggressive and it was firing a lot of times. Here is the same photograph without the flash which is much better. Here also I switched off the flash and now with the flash. As you notice with the flash sometimes the pictures don't come out to be actually good. This is also with the flash and this is uh, without the flash. Also close up photography is also good. This I took very close kind of macro and it came out good. Now I'm recording this video in completely artificial light in my office and uh, we are checking how it performs uh, in low lighting conditions. This is actually not very low lighting conditions but actually normal uh, indoor lighting conditions and again we don't have that tap to focus uh, but it's able to actually uh, quickly focus when we move around. For example as you can see let me bring this object near and it's able to focus but again i feel that sony should have given the option of uh, tap to focus on this uh, so this should give you an idea about the video recording capabilities uh, with the sony xperia z1 compact indoors in completely artificial light so what do I feel about the camera performance of this uh, Xperia Z1 Compact? Uh, the 20.7 megapixel rear facing camera does actually a very good job. Even outdoors and indoors, the photographs that I took as you have seen were very good. Uh, one thing uh, indoor particularly I do not like is the flash is actually pretty aggressive in the auto mode. And many times I noticed that the pictures that came with the flash were not that good. And when I close the flash the pictures came out to be good so sony needs to work on the software particularly in the flash department it goes haywire uh, apart from that again as i told you if you are uh, just a casual user you might be using the superior auto mode but that restricts your photograph to just 8 megapixels to get the best i would suggest the manual mode now coming to the video department here also i was actually pretty impressed uh, the videos that uh, we shot were in 1080p and as you have seen uh, the quality was very good i was impressed with the uh, quality and also the color reproduction was very good both in the videos as well as in the photos department only slight con is that indoors uh, when there was a little bit less lighting yes it did take a little bit of time to focus again it's sad to see that sony does not provide the tap to focus functionality in the video mode so overall, I would say if you're looking for a compact Android phone that should have a great camera and look no further than this Xperia Z1 Compact. I'll also be doing a full in-depth review for this Xperia Z1 Compact very soon. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to the same. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.